everybody, this is Jason Matthews, your financial guru. Uh, before I get started, hit that subscribe button. Anyways, right now, last month, it just got announced three days ago that 4.3 million homeowners did not pay their mortgage. And today, we're going to talk about the rules on making sure that you're protected, understand the policies that are in place, and educate you about what's going on. So right now, just released on June 22nd, that there's 4.3 million people who did not pay their mortgage. And I know there's all these different rules right now during COVID-19 on protections and everything else. So it's important that we educate ourselves, not put our head in the sand and think, hey, I'm protected regardless, but understand the rules and regulations. And there's been millions of people who are actually not even paying their rents right now. So let's talk about everything, the protections. Now, if you have a federally backed loan, a VA loan, um, a VA, FHA loan, um, a Freddie Mac loan, anything that's a government-backed loan, you have until your, the foreclosures cannot happen until August 31st for moratorium. So if you're behind on your mortgage, you have until August 31st with a uh, type of mortgage. Now, here's what you should do. You should not put your hand, head in the sand about it. You should be talking to see how you can restructure it because sometimes we're going to try to push you to say, hey, you're behind three months or four months or this whole time during COVID, we want all five months. So it's, a, it's important that we give you this information, but you do a little bit more research to figure out so you have the proper tools. Because they might say, hey, we want all five months. All at once, you say, well, I haven't been working. I spent all my, uh, all my stimulus checks not even covering enough. I need to make sure I'm protected. Now, California, we have a nine days after pandemic state of emergency is lifted. So right now, we actually have a state of emergency still in California. Once it is lifted, everything, everything is good. We have a 90 days after that to catch a point on mortgage. That's what government, federally backed, or any type. So what should we do at that point? If you're not an FHA, if you don't have a government back uh, loan, what we should do is talk to our mortgage company, talk about this, and work out something in the meantime before that is lifted. And then next thing you know, we're, we get foreclosure, and now we're planning on what to do. So we have 90 days until the pandemic state. Now, we have tons and tons and tons of millions of Americans who are not paying their rent and, 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 and face getting evicted or, or think they hear one thing or not. Here's what you have to do. Every lo local municipality has its own eviction rules during COVID-19. So it is highly important not to go by the federal rules or even go by your state rules, but by go by your local municipality. What's, here in Oakland, California, our rules for evictions is different than the rules that are in San Francisco, Berkeley, or any of the surrounding city spot. So it's highly important that you do your research, go to your government website, and figure out what's the eviction process. Some might say, hey, you could not be evicted now until July 1st. Some might say, hey, the eviction process already started. Some might follow California rules, which is nine days after the pandemic state. Some say you might have to catch back up on rents for the last, four, last three months or four months. While some might say, hey, you don't have to, they can put it on the back end of it. So know your rights when it comes to local, again, about your local eviction laws during COVID-19. Now, if you have any other questions, give us a call at 510-229-7608. Write down your thoughts about this. Let us know what you think about this whole eviction thing. Should we let people not pay, pay catch up on the rents for the next year or two? And what do you think going to be the economic uh, uh, effects of that? Talk to you later. Have a good day.